Hello everyone and welcome back to the Golden Legacy Subbot. We are carrying on with our conquest as the High Elves. And we've recently just captured Osnithil. So it's now back in Elven hands, which is good to see. And High Lord Oritar has just beaten back a sizable force led by Freka, who was the faction leader. And it also had Conan in, Conan the Barbarian, who was the faction heir. We did kill them both in the same battle, which was quite good. Um, but that no longer regicides the faction. So they have a new faction leader somewhere that we cannot see. However, these stragglers here are about to face the full wrath them. of our elven army. These lands. Captain Gorsad. Uh, we don't actually have many more troops than them. But obviously our... Quality not be is far superior. As we are elves, and these are dirty peasants. So, so we shall kill them all. Although we are starting to run thin on our troops, I'll be honest. We need to somehow try and get some sort of uh, not really a ceasefire with Dunland but <laughs> something to just stop for a while you can't really get a ceasefire they wouldn't take peace they are close to death sort of being destroyed in the game now that they're war with us and ended white I think Enid Wyth has took quite a few settlements from them. Why have you guys stopped shooting? Um, Pikes might do a number on us, but... Yeah, just gonna run. Only half the enemy force remains. The enemy army flees the field. Right, Pursue back up. Run them down. Archers, I need you to shoot like you've never shot before. I can't see us killing that many. Need to kill like another 15%, which I don't think is going to happen. No. I didn't think it would. Well, I'm not far off. Bloody good effort. No. This is a clear no, that's 23. Victory. But we killed 373. The Vary Shadows getting 101 kills. Not bad at all. But we weren't able to annihilate them, unfortunately. So it does mean they'll probably pull back to Dunland. And we shall face them again at some point. Kill them all. We protect the Elven lands. Yes, I think they went back to the fort. Yeah, there's not a lot of them left. Elves. Right, let's jump back in Austin Ethel for now. So we're starting to make money. About 100. 100 gold a turn. So that's not going to take take us long. To recoup the, uh, the minus 8,000 that we currently have. That's fine, we finally pushed back all of the goblins and the Dunlendings. We've recaptured Austin Ithil. We just need to... Oh, actually, while we're here... Oh, we can't, that's next turn, isn't it? Next turn, I need to swap these back. So I need to put these guys back in the Ladris and then take the cavalry out and pop them in the fort. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's actually anything else for us to do right now. Obviously, we still have Buzzer Doom. I'm thinking, do we try and sell it, maybe? Because we're it's really not going to do much, is it? Um, but while I remember, actually, I completely forgot last episode about the Elven Reunion. So we have one, two, three, four, five settlements here. 
And then we have five over here. So we do have ten now. And that includes Mithlond, Imladris, and Ostinithil. So what we need to do... Oh, don't tell me. Where's my, where's my diplomat gone? My oh, he's mom. all the way over here. We've not got another one. We've got like four diplomats or something. Three. But Rudow is not good. Dale's not good. The world. Is that... That's a little closer. Right. Without question, Two turns. You get your ass you over wish. there. Because I would like to try and get this Elven reunion started. Because I don't know what it actually entails. My Lord. Or what we need to do. Obviously the... The um, the outline of the quest was that we need to hold ten regions in Madras, Osnithil, and uh, Linden. Was it Linden? Something like that. Which we do. And for the Elves of Lothlorien to hold Karis Galathon, which I believe they still do. So we need to send a diplomat over there to find out what happens next. Breeze lead is dead. 2,000 gift. Very nice. So we're making about 1,200 now. That's much better. Um, but I'd rather not have our army Over sit here, in Osnithil. Elrond, I think, could stay there. He's free of keep. So I don't mind him staying there. My lord. Approaching quietly. Alright, so Dunlarak's got a decent garrison. Quietly. Now we've got a spy over here. We can have a look and see what's actually going on. Sire. Avalyn, I would like to get you back out and over to Orotar if possible. Because we are lacking cavalry in the army. And I could probably do with recruiting more troops as well. Even these ghastly, horrible Breland troops. Which are awful. Come, my brothers. Yes, um, but they're certainly better the than light. not having any. Swiftly. Right, you guys jump out. For the light, swiftly. Right, that should help our income a little bit more as well. Yes, my lord. Without question. Oh, bloody Dolbadur, always in the way. Yes. Um, I'd like to see what's in Byrig first. I was thinking we could go and try and besiege this little fort, get rid of these units. But if an army comes. Sire. Then obviously we're going to be knackered. We are a long ways off recruiting these troops. But I am going to queue them up. And these ones as well. Uh, cavalry not so much, I think. We need more infantry. Uh, we might as well, I suppose. Unit pulls at maximum. Get them trained, why not? Queue these up as well. We will have money one day. Come, my brothers. Yeah, I'm not sure what else we can do. Right now. Let's give it another turn. We'll get the diplomat over to Byrig. Uh, but there's yeah, there is nothing else really. We're just waiting, aren't we? For something to happen. Culture's going up, which is good in Buzzard Doom. Obviously, we want to get the mines there, because the mines are incredible. Plus 675 from the first here, which is just outrageous. But I wonder if um, Dunland are now back to just their starting regions. And Tharbad. So they may only have four settlements. And if the Dunedain take Tharbad... Then that will probably spawn their last stand script. Unless we can snipe their general somehow. Gunnabad are at war with Khazad Doom. 44 turns in, really? My lord. Right, Menthar's there, but he isn't the Approaching faction leader. Quietly. Approaching. And neither's Fiona Fiongal? Fionthal? Not sure how you say that. But he's not the faction leader either. Approaching quietly. So who 
Machine. By the light of Elbereth, put them down. Right, we're going to take that balance. as an invitation I to uh, take this fort. In battle. Follow me. Orders. So I think you guys run in here as well and take that fort. Guard this area. We might as well try and expand the borders a little bit. It's only going to be a few more turns before we make money. We can start retraining. I think actually it's probably worth retraining them first, isn't it? Get them. Yeah, let's do that. Try and keep them fresh. The cavalry I'm not too concerned about. They haven't taken that. They haven't taken that many losses. But yeah, even if we can get these trash troops and funnel them down to Osnathil. Obviously, we need to have a garrison there. And our diplomat, before I forget. Yes, my lord. It's As another turn. We've got to wait, unfortunately. Here. Come, my brother. Ah, there he is. Okay. So that's interesting. So he does literally teleport. I imagine that was probably five turns, maybe. Was it? Or ten? So if we stick some units in his army, then he teleports. I think he's only just gone there this turn, hasn't he? I'm sure he was there last turn. The other side. So let's keep an eye out. That's at least one or at least one turn he's been there. So I'm interested to see how long he actually stays there for. Because yeah, if it was ten turns, it, it probably wouldn't be much quicker than travelling all the way around. So uh, it must be it must be less. That's quite a neat little thing. A second Doriath. Ooh. Is that... Uh, oh, I forget now. Blockade port. We're not going to blockade a port. We can't even build ships. Oh, no, we can. That's the stupid thing to say, isn't it? We literally can. We've got um, little arms and ships up here. Arguably the um, greatest crafters of maritime, <laughs> but you know, we can't build ships. What I meant is uh, we can't build ships around here. That's <laughs> that's what I meant. <laughs> we'll go with that. Right. Oh Christ, he's back already. Turn to war friend. So he's only there for a turn or two. Right, let's keep an eye on him now, because he's only been here for this turn. Maybe he's just been going the whole time, and I've just not noticed. I don't know. Yes, my lord. Without question. Right. A diplomat is here. I'm sure that's what we had to do. Is that right? Uh, I don't think it tells me on this one. Elven Union, there we go. So, send a diplomat near to the city of Karis Galathon. So Lothorin must hold Karis Galathon, which they do, and we must hold ten regions, including Mithlond, Imladris, and Austin Ithil, which we do. Perfect. So next turn, that should trigger something in the quest. Dunland have got two more turns in the fort. And I don't know why I keep browsing over here, nothing's happening. Literally, the only armor we've got is this one here. That's fine. Interesting that Dunland keep funneling troops across um, the river at Tharbad. I thought they would be putting more pressure on Enid Wythe. And I would have expected some units to come up to try and relieve this siege of the fort that we're doing, but... Khan stands with Mordor. And Premi returns. Interesting. In command of the Northern Garrison, La Premi has, in truth, been conducting reconnaissance missions into the lands around Lothlorien. While Celeborn and Lady Galadriel have long foreseen the coming war with Sauron and his minions, 
in Dogodo if they've been gathering much information as they could. Now, however, the time has come to strike out with greater strength, and Imprimi has long been revered as Lorien's greatest commander. His return will surely ensure the safety and security of the forest. March Warden Orothin promoted. Long of the March Warden's protected the borders. She's foreseen dark tidings. The last line elves have pushed back the force of Dogodo and expanded the borders of Lorien. Elf magic of the Lady will not be able to protect all of the lands indefinitely. Lothlorien must now muster its most experienced warriors to lead its troops, and so calls Our Lady and Lord, this new March Warden, forth to lead their troops. In the hour of need, Orothin, brother of Haldir, will lead our forces and bring peace once more to the realm. Okay, so it looks like we are actually just united with Lothlorien. We don't get the choice. <laughs> we just, that's it. Okay, this is pretty cool. Again, feel free to pause and read those messages. I did skim through some of them. So we now have Haldir. That's pretty cool. I like Haldir. We've got Killerborn. Okay. Oh, look at that. We're losing 3,000 gold coins again. Right, Dunlan's got one turn left. And then we'll kill them. Sire. Turian Dwarf Friend is still there. Uh, Drangu the Bloody, he's got a sizable Angrim force. Right, let's have a look. Oh my lord, what is going on here? By the light of Elbereth. So we've got Enpremi, who's got um, Gilathrim Swordsman. Elves. We've got Orothin, who's got Lothorian March Wardens. They look like a decent range unit. Come, my brothers. Got Celeborn, he's got the. Bedior Engelith. It's I can't pronounce that, but it's something like that. They're a really good unit, so I'm glad that we've got him. They've got some scouts and sentries. We've got Erui as well, with some Gathunan and Orthodir. Orthodir, maybe. Elves. Haldir's outside Lim here. He comes with some Galathra marches as well. Very nice. Yes, my lord. And then we've got um, a named. Oh yes, of course, For we have a named captain. Yes, my lord. Right, but we do have a random Dolgado army just in the middle of our forest here. Like, how dare they? Yes, my lord. We've also got a diplomat next to Rohan, which is good, and we have a little force. For the light. I say little, actually. It seems pretty good. Just outside Edrakan. Uh, however, we won't be able to take that because they've got a reinforcing army led by Captain Zamug. My lord. And we've got another Christman. We've got so many diplomats. <laughs> we have enough. We have way too many. Right, let's sort out this public order shenanigans. But yeah, we've been really hit with their uh, income there. Or our income has, has taken a hit, should I say. But Arui's making a decent amount of money. Right, we Elven need to warriors. form up this army, don't we, somehow? We need to collect Moving. all of these troops together. Elves. By the light of Elbereth. It's annoying that we're Moving. sort of cut off. By the light of Elbereth. Oh, and we've got these guys as well. Erudagrian. And oh Christ, Melder in on the way. <laughs> oh man, I've absolutely butchered them. So these both come with Calaquendi lords, okay. My lord, yes, my lord. Oh man, we've just inherited, inherited so many troops. Elven warriors, which is cool. Yes, my lord. Elves. Um, but Elves. I was yes, my lord. looking forward to By the light of making money. Follow me. Right, Haldir, you're miles away from everyone. And while we have this turn of income, or a bit I of money, win. should I say, Set up an ambush. We let's uh, Stay chuck alert. some towers down Elves, for me. We must give up the road. Like, how, how are these not free upkeep? Oh, can we not um, recruit Lorient units now? Have you guys built a barracks? 
Stables, yeah. Okay. Now they've only built the stables. But it's no good to us anymore, so we might as well demolish it. They do have a militia garrison, which I'll keep for now, I suppose. Right, it's probably worthwhile checking the other settlements. Mirror of Gladriel, increase in tradable goods, experience bonus of archers, that's nice. Stables again, no use to us now. Master Builders Hall, a great market, that's nice. Blister Maker, Leather Tanner. And they do have the Elven Guard Hall, so we can recruit Elven units. Uh, Lorien units, sorry, that's good. So we can retrain them as well. And we can get a spy and another diplomat. We don't need another diplomat. Jesus. We definitely don't. My lord. Uh right, you guys need to pull back. Come on! Swiftly! Because we could they've got a blister, a lot of cavalry, and some uh, decent units in there. So we'll definitely make use of them. Come, my brother. Think can we send you out? Over here, elves! We will need that one. I know it's not ideal. Oh, but we're bordering the goblins again. I thought I was finished with them. But we're not. Oh god, we're losing even more money. And he actually makes a Elves. lot. I think we've just lost like a thousand moving him out. Yeah. He's obviously been in there a while. At ease. We should probably stick him back in. Yes, my lord. Good news is we do have a fort here. To put some troops in once we've dealt with this Dolgadur army. Follow me. Scout the sire. My only problem. My lord. Can you guys? Oh, so close. Elves. I wanted to sort of Come, my brothers. group everyone up. But... Onward, sire. Like the way. Follow me. Reinforcements. They will not see us in the forest. Swiftly. By the light of El For the light. Come, my brothers. Right. We've definitely got enough um, enough generals there. So let's attack Engage. this Dolgador army, shall we? Kelleborn, I don't think I need you reinforcing, to be honest. Wow, that's a lot of archers. So they've got some maulers, some Dolgador hosts, a lot of Dolgador archers, and some scouts. Um, yeah, I don't even want Kelleborn in the fight, to be honest. Pointless running the risk. Wipe the blight from this land! I don't want him getting killed. This is very cool though. I mean, we've just inherited a lot of generals. So once we've cleared up this Dolgador host and we've pulled back all of the forces, then we can sort of figure out a, a little army, get a little army together, distribute some of these generals, because we certainly don't need all of these. And then um, we could start fighting Dolgador as well, which would make a nice change. And we've got a bit of cavalry too, which I like to see. Uh, let's stick a Caliquendi Lord on each flank. I do like the Caliquendi Lords. I just think they are limiting in terms of I think what they can do because of the amount of elves they have in a unit. So obviously they're a ridiculously good unit. But just due to the limit of numbers that they've got, or the limited numbers that they've got, it does make them uh, susceptible to dying. Which is not ideal. Right, I tell you what, charge them archers. Because they've got a lot of archers. Oh, and they've got javelins as well, haven't they? I completely forgot about the javelins. Charge them. Cavalry's coming in. The battle is very much in our favour. Just to hold Victory them in place. Right, you guys pull out. Lorian wardens, or warders, whatever they're called. Right, charge them. 
You guys charge the maulers for me. Oof, that was a good charge. That was a great charge as well. Obviously, they are only scouts, so they're not a, an amazing cavalry bodyguard. Um, cavalry unit, sorry. But still cavalry, so it's better than nothing. Right, you guys get stuck in. Let's get you into the freight if we can. Anyone else? It's many archers, really, isn't it? So, tell you what, start charging the archers. That's not going to be a great charge. He barely had a run up. Right, cavalry. Charge these archers. And people can get stuck in. Only half the enemy force remains. Can you guys shoot the maulers for me? Cavalry, run them down. The enemy general abandons his men. We want to kill everyone here. Make sure this army is destroyed. Who's still fighting? I thought they would have all routed by now. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. That'll do it. Right, you guys stop fighting. Um, firing. God, I cannot talk to the... 95%. Be awed That's by fine. The victory we have won so we lost 79 today. elves, but we killed over 1,500 orcs, which is pretty good. Uh, Lothorian March Wardens, 216 kills. Lothorian Scouts, 288. Not bad. So this is quite cool. I think we're getting a flavour of each elven faction here. We can still train and recruit and replenish the, the Lauren units that we inherited, so that's good. We just need to try and spread these guys out. Because we have so many. We know we certainly don't need any generals. Right, very nice. So what we need to do... I think we want to keep Empremi, because he's got some Glassroom Swordsmen, which are pretty good. And we want to keep Orifin as well, because he's got some March Wardens. These two guys, though, I'm not too concerned with. Um, Celeborn. By the Come, my brothers. Yeah, he makes a ton more money, so we'll stick him in there. Elves. And me. then what we need to do is retrain. Elves. I think we'll send this guy here, to elves. Lin here. Onward. Elves. We follow me. And then Orthodir, when he's done, he'll go back. Stay alert. Yes, my lord. By the light of Elbereth. For the light. Elven warriors. So any Come units on, that brothers. don't need retraining. For the light. I don't think they took any damage. Yes, my lord. My oh, there's lord. one guy left. Come on, elves. Yes, my lord. Elven warriors. Swiftly. Right, and then we'll stick like the everyone in there. Come, my brothers. Over For now. For the light. Elven warriors. Onward. Because what we want to do Elven is try and retrain as much as we can. So these Elves. look new, Elven warriors. but there's no more room in the fort, unfortunately. Sire. Yes, my lord. So For they may the as well stick with Haldor, to be honest. By the light of They're not free. So, I mean, we've already chopped that down to about half. We're still losing about 2,000, but I think once we've rejigged some of the units, we've stuck him back in there, that will help massively. And obviously we've got these guys as well, which I completely forgot about. Warriors. So there's quite a few here that we could For still retrain. Elven warriors. Yes, my lord. My lord. I think if we send, no, I'll tell you what, we'll keep them together for now. For the light. 
Yes, my lord. Oh, that unit does need retraining. Elven warriors. It's one two six apparently. Yes, my lord. Never mind. We can sort that out. Right, this is pretty cool. I'm enjoying this now. So now we've sort of got like a third theatre of war, if you will. And um, we've got the far west settlements. Obviously, that's quite quiet at the minute. Um, but we've got Varian there and Gildor. But not much is happening right now. Then obviously in the centre, we've got Oritar and Elrond. Obviously, the Dunlendings will be killed next turn. But we do need some more troops, desperately. So that this is sort of an issue here. We've got We've got troops up in, in, in Ladris, but we need them to defend against Angmar. Now we need some troops down south in Osnithil to defend against Dunland. And now obviously we've merged with Lorien. At the minute we're going to be... We're looking okay, but we're going to be facing down goblins and Dol Gadur. So once we've regrouped and replenished, we will have a decent army. We've got a lot of generals... But again, we're, we're facing two enemies from different directions, so that's going to be tricky. Uh, but towers would certainly help, particularly in this settlement and this one, because they're quite large. They're away from the border of the settlement. So you get a couple of turns notice before they'll actually be at the settlement, which would be nice. But obviously we need money for that, and we're now losing money. So, But it's pretty good. I think it's added a bit of extra flavor if you will to the the campaign but i'm gonna end it here so as always hope you guys are enjoying thanks for watching and i'll catch you all in the next one